Welcome, my name is Bryce Heventhal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's quick tips video we will talk about the surface finish tab when you're applying appearances to your model and then we'll see how that affects when we actually go to render our model using PhotoView 360 when you have SOLIDWORKS Professional or SOLIDWORKS Premium. So to start off here I have a toolbox that sits in a truck bed of a pickup truck but what I really want to do with this model is I want to make a diamond tread plate go on these top covers but instead of taking the time to model that pattern it around what I'm gonna do is apply an appearance to it and save us a lot of time from having to model that so when I actually send this to a customer maybe for a design review they'll be able to just see the appearance see what it's gonna look like before we actually produce a physical product so I'll start off by applying an appearance to this part and since these are two instances of the same part, if I apply the appearance to the part level, it'll apply them to both, which is exactly what I want. So I'll go ahead and start by just clicking this part, going to the appearance in my in context menu, and I go ahead and apply it to a face. I got a couple different options if I wanted to, but I actually want to apply it to the part level, so I'll go ahead and select the part down here. It will go ahead and open up my property manager over here and if you look it's saying I want to apply the appearance to the part document level which is going to go all the way to the part but if I only wanted it to this one part right here I can apply it to the component level maybe I, this is a one-off situation and I just want to do this part right here I can go ahead and do that and it will only be in this one instance but that's not what I want so I'll leave it as is and I'll come down here and I'll come and select a nice silver color so we could use our um, coming down here and type in our RGB values if you know those but I'm just going to use one of the default 64 colors and say I want that guy so the first thing you want to make sure is that you're on the advanced button up here um, if you're on the basic button you only get the color image tab but let's go to the advanced and what I really want to come to is the surface finish tab here we can go ahead and select our surface finish and you'll notice SOLIDWORKS has some default surface finishes right out of the box so we'll go ahead and say I want to get that diamond tread plate exactly what I want perfect and that's exactly what I want the diamond tread plate but it's a little bit too big so I'll go to the mapping tab real quickly um, try to resize it make it a little bit smaller and more realistic um, that's about good I'm just eyeballing it but if you really need to you come down here and put in um, values for your width and height but let's go back to that surface finish tab so for, we have two options down here bum mapping and displacement mapping so bum mapping actually gives you a nice appearance where it looks like the illusion of the bump there but the displacement map mapping will actually control the distance from the nominal surface to the distance map to the surface finish dependent on this value so I'll go ahead and show you both of those options so I've saved us some time from letting us watch that render so I've rendered a few images here I've used the bump map um, as you can see you get the nice appearance of the diamond tread plate but if I actually go over and do the displacement map which is this option you can see that it changes and you have to watch out because it's actually gonna reflect light in different directions with because it's actually deflecting the surface um, to prove it I've actually kinda exaggerated type in a huge value and you could see that w this isn't a linear edge anymore we actually have some displacements here and this is the same model we were just looking at do be aware that the displacement mapping actually performs an actual geometry displacement on the surface of the model because this method is computationally expensive there can be a significant reduction in rendering performance so we're not just limited to the surface finishes that SOLIDWORKS provides so I'll go ahead and close the, my final render window real quickly and this time I'll go ahead and show you an image real quickly so we have a nice image of here of the SOLIDWORKS symbol where the black and white so what we'll actually do is apply this file to our surface finish and actually in the white regions is where we're gonna see the raised portion if it was a gray black white you'll see the gray be the be the transition where it will be like slowly stepping up that's how each one of these surface finishes are created so let's go ahead and close that file and I'll go ahead and apply that SOLIDWORKS symbol to this face right here so let's go ahead and select the face go to the appearance the same we did before but this time I'll just apply it to the face I'm okay with that gray color so I'll just jump straight into the surface finish tab and for the surface finish I'll come in here and select from file and I already have that SOLIDWORKS file set so I'll just go ahead and scale this thing real quickly with using my mapping tab and I do just want a huge one 
on this front face. Let's just make it as big as possible. And we'll go ahead and go back to that surface finish tab. And we can still apply bump map and displacement maps right now, so I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll actually see that we get a nice raise of our logo here. With this, something like this would take a very long time to create in SOLIDWORKS. It might be a little bit painful depending how complex our logo is. But we're not just limited to the types of surface finishes that SOLIDWORKS provides. So we can create our own black, grayscale, white photo and apply it to any one of these faces, parts, bodies, assemblies. Well, I'm Bryce Hemethal, and that is another Quick Tips video from Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.